The Emeril Lagasse pressure air fryer has two lids, the pressure lid and the air fryer lid. This video will focus on the pressure lid, and a following video will highlight the air fryer lid. Let's learn about your pressure lid. The pressure lid has an outer lid with the pressure release valve and the open-closed steam release switch which opens and closes the pressure release valve. The outer lid also has a float valve and a handle. You should check your pressure release valve when you clean the unit to make sure it is clear and free of debris. Never do this when the Emeril Lagasse pressure air fryer is in use or under pressure. To remove the pressure release valve, simply pull it out of its chamber. Inspect the valve and the chamber to make sure there is no debris blocking it. Then, reinsert the pressure valve by pressing it snugly into the chamber. Now, flip the outer lid over. There is a removable inner lid that helps form the seal so the unit can build the proper pressure. Remove the inner lid from the outer lid. It's easy. Simply pull the silver knob on the inner lid and slide the two lids apart. There is a removable silicon gasket around the perimeter of the inner lid. This is also called the pot lid liner. There is also a center silicon gasket. To remove it, simply pull it off the inner lid. To remove the pot lid liner gasket, gently pull it from around the inner lid. The silicon material allows it to stretch. This silicon gasket helps the pressure air fryer achieve an airtight seal so it can come up to pressure. You should wash the silicon gaskets in warm soapy water as well as the inner lid after every use. While the inner lid is still off the outer lid, let's look at the underside of the outer lid. You will see locking pins, the underside of the pressure release valve, the float valve, and rubber gasket. This rubber gasket should be removed for cleaning. Simply pull the gasket off the float valve. The float valve will drop and reveal an empty chamber. Check the chamber to make sure it is free of debris. You can do this by running water into the float valve. It should freely flow through the debris-free chamber. Then, turn the pressure lid back over to allow the float valve to drop back into the float valve chamber. Stick the pointed end of the float valve pin into the side hole of the float valve. That will hold up the float valve while you reinsert the silicon gasket onto the float valve. Insert the gasket over the float valve. Make sure it is snug and then remove the float valve pin. On the underside of the pressure lid, you will also find the center knob. After cleaning, reassemble the inner lid. First, reattach the silicon gaskets around the perimeter of the inner lid and in the center. You pull it gently and fit it right over the edges of the inner lid. Make sure that the gasket is centered along the edges. The edge should fit snugly right into the middle of the gasket. There is also a removable inner lid center gasket. You simply pull this off for cleaning and it slips back on. Now insert the assembled inner lid onto the outer lid. You do this by centering the inner lid over the center knob on the outer lid. It should slip right on. Make sure that the inner lid knob you pulled to remove the inner lid is facing away from the outer lid so that you can easily pull it again when you are done. Now that the outer lid is completely assembled, let's review how to put it on your unit properly. It is important that this lid gets locked in place or the unit will not be able to pressurize properly. To close the unit, put the outer lid on top of the pressure air fryer. Position the white dot on the lid approximately 3 inches to the left of the arrow at the top of the operation panel in the middle. The lid will fall into the slots for the open position. Then, twist the lid counterclockwise so that the dot on the lid lines up with the arrow on the unit. That is the locked position. If the unit is not on correctly when starting a cycle, a magnetic sensor indicates that the lid is not positioned correctly. The unit will beep and display lid when the lid is not locked. Make sure that the open-closed steam release switch is in the closed position and you are ready to cook. There are two ways to release the pressure after a cooking cycle. You can simply press the cancel button on the control panel and the pressure will slowly release naturally. Generally, the natural release takes about 20 to 60 minutes. Rapid release releases the pressure faster. To rapidly release the pressure in the unit, press the cancel button to cancel the cooking cycle. Then, always use tongs to move the pressure release switch from the closed position to the open position. 
This will release the very hot steam and pressure. Keep your hands, face, and arms away as the steam is very hot. Steam will release for some time depending on how much water was added and the size of the unit. When all the steam is released, the digital display will turn off. This will let you know that the unit is not under pressure and that it is safe to open. To open the lid, make sure the release switch is in the open position. Then, simply rotate the lid handle clockwise to the open position. There is no need to force the lid open. If the lid resists, then it is still releasing pressure. Do not force it open. Allow it a few more minutes to finish releasing the pressure and always use the lid handle to lift the lid. As a safety precaution, always make sure that the inner pot has not gotten stuck to the lid before you remove it. You need to slowly remove the lid, making sure the inner pot is not attached. Now you should understand the pressure lid for your Emerald Lagasse pressure air fryer. We will explore the air fryer lid in another video.